Tim, according to the American Gaming Association, nearly $6 billion in bets were placed last year's Super Bowl between the New England Patriots and the L.A. Rams. This year, that number is expected to be even bigger as more states have illegalized that sports betting. It's, it's about time it's happened, you know, so it's just a lot of fun for people to be able to, you know, go out and bet on their favorite teams if they want, so. Like many Siouxlanders, Zach Ryan is taking full advantage of legalized sports betting in Iowa. It's fun to be able to make some games more interesting if you got, like, 10, 20 bucks. It doesn't matter how much you got on it. It's just fun to be with your friends and, you know, watch all the games. And Ryan is one of many Siouxlanders already placing Super Bowl wagers, but most bets will come closer to kickoff. And we'll start to see more action coming in the week, uh, the actual week of the Super Bowl. Hard Rock has been taking bets since September, but Torres says the Super Bowl is on a different playing field with not only traditional betting options, but exotic wagering only found on these big events. Which receiver is going to catch more yards? Which running back is going to rush for more yards? Little things like that, and we're going to offer so many. Since it's just the one game to bet on, we're going to come up with a crazy amount of propositions to bet on. But the option gets even crazier for those betting online. You'll be able to bet on the next play more or less than five yards will be a passer of rush but you have to be online to do that not retail of course you don't have to bet to enjoy the game just pick a side and enjoy the super bowl so my roots are going to be rooting for kansas city i'll upset a lot of people if i don't say the chiefs but i'm going to go with san fran because they beat my vikings this year marks the Chiefs' first Super Bowl appearance in 50 years, and according to betting odds, the Chief holds a slight edge over the 49ers for Super Bowl 54. Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News.